Because I needed that challenging new intellectual stimulus. The community is really important to me, so I've lived here my whole life. My community is very dear to me. Um, and having recently worked in an oral history project called The Warnington Word, where we were um, interviewing people about how they felt about regeneration projects. As my new role, it was actually supervising a new team. So the course that I've chosen was leadership and supervision. I saw the benefits of being qualified, working at the same time and getting paid for it. It's going really well. Since the beginning of it, I got um, promoted to a senior role within my team because I'm currently embedding that knowledge. Um, I'm working with um, really great people and I feel like a, a valuable member of the team already. The apprenticeship was amazing. I feel like I've been given an opportunity to really build a career for myself. Just enjoy it and make sure you do involve your line manager uh, within, from the beginning of the process to the end so they're there to support you. To believe in yourself and believe in your potential, it's never too late to retrain. It is making sure that your manager buys into the apprenticeship, allowing you to take the 20% of your time and to allow you to complete the course. It's something to look into if you're not looking to go into a university placement to, to pursue a degree. Apprenticeships are for everyone, um, different level of career development from young professionals to someone who already has an established career. As an apprentice, you're also a student and so students pretty much get roughly between 10 to 20 percent off everything and that's including uh, my university providing me with like Adobe Suite, lots of software, yeah. uh, you get an apprentice Oyster card as well. Oh, so it's like a, a normal job, um, I'm paid for 100% of my time, so that's including the, that 20% that I'm, I'm studying some at university um, and, and time at work. Actually going through the whole um, GCSEs functional skills process, which was at the time was like done like 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. So um, it was a major challenge and actually I passed it with flying colours. I've had tasks that I haven't been used to, which I've had to again ask the main electrician as to how I do this, how I do that. They've been very supportive of my development. As it's a level seven degree, there's a lot of work that needs to be put in. So you really need to concentrate on the time management. 